Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, friends, in this session we are going to discuss some more problems on dice. In the previous session uh, I have discussed a good number of problems. So first uh, we have a quick recap of some of the concepts that we have discussed in the previous session then we'll uh, take some new pattern of problems. So let's begin this session. Now this problem. Two positions of a dice are given. Uh, when 1 is at the top, which number will be at the bottom? That means we have to find out the number opposite to 1. Now you can very well see that in both the positions, 2 is at the top, right? That means the dice has taken 180 degree rotation. That means the number which was there will come over here and the number which was here that will go over there, right? So opposite to 5, 3 will be there and opposite to 1, 6 will be there, right? So when 1 is at the top, which number will be at the bottom? That's 6, as simple as that. Okay. Uh, the same thing in is this uh, this case. One is the position of one is fixed, and all the numbers are getting changed. That means the dice has taken 180 degree rotation. That means the number uh, opposite to five will be two, and the number opposite to three will be four. Right. So when the number four will be at the bottom, when then which will be at the top? That means the number opposite to four. Now number opposite to four is three. Okay. Now in this case, when 4 is at the bottom, uh, what number will be on the top? That means we have to find out the number that is opposite to 4. Now you can very well see 2, 3, 5 and 6, all of them are adjacent to 1. That means obviously 1 should be opposite to 4, right? Or 4 should be opposite to 1, right? So pretty simple. Now this question. Here, uh, the number opposite to 3 is asked. So we need to change the strategy over here. 2 is common between the two dice. Put 2 in between. Right. Then 2. This is 3. And this is 6. Okay. Now we have to arrange. Uh, we have to arrange 1 and 5 at these two positions. Right. So the same strategy. Let the numbers talk. So when 2 and 5 are talking to each other, 1 is at the left hand side of 2, right? So 2 and 5 are talking, so 1 is at the left hand side, okay? So opposite to 3 is what? 5, okay? The number at the bottom is what? That's 4, pretty simple. Now this one, uh, we have to find out the number opposite to 2, right? So again between these two we have one as common. So I take first of all one, then this is three, this is five, right? Now adjacent to one, two and four are there. So we have to arrange them over the, uh, these positions. Now when, um, how do we arrange? When one and two are talking to each other, four is at the right hand side of one. Right, or you can say when four and one are talking to each other, one is uh, two is at the left hand side, right? So, this is 4, this is 2. So, here when 1 and 4 are talking to each other, 2 is at the left hand side of 1, right? So, we need to find out the number opposite to 2, so that will be 3, okay? So, now we can very well observe that in less than 20 to 25 seconds, uh, we are able to solve this problem. Right. So once the concept of this rotation and arrangement of numbers is clear, then the problems are really very simple and uh, believe me, very less time consuming. Okay. You can calculate them as a free marks. Now this question. In a dice, A, B, C, D are written on the adjacent faces in a clockwise order. That means here B, here C and this is D, E and this is F. Right. E and F are at the top and bottom. When C is at the top, what will be at the bottom? So number, uh, the alphabet opposite to C is C at this face. So the number of uh, the alphabet opposite to C is A. Okay. Now in this question, uh, you try on your own. Uh, three positions of a single dice is uh, are given, and uh, there are five questions based on the same. Uh, this uh, diagram, right? So first of all, let's do uh, this one, four, six, two, three. So this is one, this is six, and uh, sorry, this is four, and this is six. 
from this figure when 1 and 2 are talking to each other 3 is at the right hand side of 1 so when 1 and 2 are talking to each other 3 is at the right hand side of 1 right 1 is facing this way so that will be the right hand side okay 1 is facing this way so that is the right hand side okay now at the bottom uh, that means opposite to 1 will be 5 right opposite to 1 will be 5 now which number lies at the bottom of dice 1 so opposite to 2 that's 4 okay pretty simple uh, which number lies at the bottom face of dice 3? Okay, that is opposite to 5, so that's 1. Then, which number lies opposite 6? Opposite to 6, we have 3. Okay, so once uh, we crack this, after that all the problems are very easy. Uh, which of the following combination shows the numbers at the adjacent surfaces uh, of number 4? So, adjacent to 4, we have uh, 3, we have 6, we have 5, right? So, because 5 is at the bottom, so that will also be adjacent to 4. So, 3, 5 and 6. Let's see. 3, okay, this is 3 and 6, okay? Uh, 2 is opposite to 4, that we can see very well, okay? After that, which of the following number does not appear on any one of the adjacent surface of 3. That means you have to find out the number opposite to 3, right? So, opposite to 3, it is 6, okay? Because uh, all other numbers will be adjacent to 3. So, that's 6. I hope you are getting, uh, getting me. Now, this question. If the total number of dots on the opposite faces of a cubical block is always 7, then find the figure which is correct. So, this is our regular dice that we use in playing uh, snacks and ladders and ludos and business. Any other game that we use, uh, where we use dice, right? So, sum is 7. Uh, that's possible when we have the combinations of 1 and 6, 3 and 4, 2 and 5, right? That means if 1 is here, 6 will be at the bottom, 3, 4, 5 and 2 right so precisely this uh, that should be the arrangement of the numbers okay so that we can see uh, see in this case 1 and 2 and 6 are adjacent okay we do one thing first of all let's discard the uh, position that is not possible uh, see here 5 and 2 are adjacent so this is not possible because 5 and 2 should be opposite in this case 3 and 4 are adjacent so it's, all, uh, it's also not possible and uh, here 1 and 6 are adjacent that is not possible because the sum of opposite faces should be 7 right so this is the only possibility okay I hope you are getting it now this question uh, there are four to five questions in this set six dice are shown in the following figures the upper faces of each dice uh, having been erased the number of dots on each surface of every dice has been arranged in such a way that the sum of the number of dots on the opposite faces is 7. So, the same combination will be there 6, 1, 5, 2 and 3, 4. Right? Now, let's see the questions one by one. The very first is, if the dice 1, 2 and 3 have even number of dots on their bottom faces, then what would be the total number of dots on the top faces? Now, friends, here it's a uh, there's a twist. See, you don't know the top and bottom faces. You know this. That's will be two here. Here it will be one. Here it will be two. Here it will be four. Um, this is one and this is five. But these two positions, like the top and the bo bottom positions, are unknown to us. Right now, if the dice one, two, and three have even number on the or uh, even number of dots on their bottom faces, right? That means on the bottom. Uh, see, now we are left with the three and four only. Okay, so uh, even number that is four. That means in the dice one, four dots. In the dice two, here we are having the combination. We are left with one and six only. So six should be at bottom, and. Uh, the third one is uh, we are left with this um, 3 and 4. So, 4 should be at bottom. Okay. 
then we are asked what will be the total of number of dots on the top faces this is the bottom face so we have to find out top so that will be 3 and 3 6 and 1 7 it's very simple okay I'm sure you are getting it now similarly if dice 1 2 and 3 have even number of dots on their bottom faces so the same thing even number of dots so we already know that this is 4 6 and 4 have even number of dots on them uh, their bottom faces and dice 4 5 and 6 have odd number of dots on their top faces that means uh, they will be definitely having um, even number at bottom faces right if we talk about bottom they will be having even number so even uh, 1 2 and 3 they are having even numbers even uh, 4 5 and 6 they are having even number at the bottom faces so what will be the difference of the total number of dots between these two sets so let's try that uh, we find out the top faces here it is 3 here it's 4 here 6 here 1 here 5 2 this 5 2 this is 2 this is 5 this is 4 this is 3 right now they are having uh, odd number of dots at the bottom faces so this must be uh, we are left with 1 and 6 so this is 1 this is 6 and here we are left with the uh, 4 and 3 so this is uh, 3 this is 4 then here we are left with this is 3 this is 4 5 2 we are left with 1 and 6 so this must be 6 this must be 1 so here sum of the top is 1 plus 3 plus 1 that's 5 and in the previous case we have already discussed about the sum of uh, top that's 7 so difference between these two sets is 2 right so that's C 7 minus 5 2 tops right difference among the tops now if odd number dice have odd number of dots on their bottom faces then what will be the total number of dots on the top faces of these dice right so uh, here we should be having uh, this is 1 3 and 5 these are odd number of dice and they should be having odd number of dots on their bottom faces that means even number at the top because finally we have to find out uh, total number of dots on the top faces right so here this uh, we are left with 3 and 4 over here so on the bottom 3 should be there so here it should be 4 right in this case um, uh, we are left with 3 and 4 once again so at the bottom 3 so here it must be 4 here once again we are left with 3 and 4 so that's 4 so 4 into 3 12 okay now if even number dice have even number of dots on their top faces then what will be the total number of dots on their top faces okay let's see so this uh, this we are left with 1 and 6 so 6 should be here then here we should be we are left with 1 and 6 so 6 should be here again and this uh, we are left with 1 and 6 so 6 should be here so 6 into 3 it must be 18 okay so you observe that uh, it's very simple now friends uh, this question the six faces of a cube have been marked with uh, one two three four five six the surfaces unfold okay choose the figure that will be formed when the cube is unfolded okay let's see uh, select one by one see two is adjacent to one three four and six that means two should be opposite to five okay so 2 is opposite to 5 um, in this case you can see here 2 is opposite to 1 here 2 uh, 6 is opposite to uh, 1 6 4 3 so 2 is opposite to 5 right in no other case 2 is opposite to 5 so no need to cross verify this is correct okay similarly in this case uh, this is the unfolded dice C is opposite to F B is opposite to D and A is opposite to E right B is opposite to D that's incorrect uh, that means B should be opposite to D then C should be opposite to F here C F possible see if we match these two 
uh, these two positions are correct right none of them are making the uh, making wrong combinations right see here c and f should be opposite so it's quite possible here a and uh, e should be opposite so that's also possible and uh, b and d should be opposite that's also possible so these two positions are correct okay so now i'm sure i'll be able to do the problems based on dice pretty simple topic and as i have already told you the free marks are there okay each problem will take not more than 20 to 25 seconds to get solved okay so do revise it the do revise this session and the previous session both as well and uh, do some practice with the problems okay bye bye